Hello everyone, Merry Christmas! I've got some exciting news. A new version of the QWIN image edit model just came out. It has a few big improvements. One of the best ones is that it now includes some popular LoRa's inside the base model. Let's jump into Comf UI so I can show you. Before this, if we wanted to relight an image using the older QWIN edit model, the 2509 version, we had to add a special relighting LoRa. With a new QWIN edit model, you can do relighting directly without adding less LoRa. It also works with the lighting in LoRa to make generation faster. Even though these two models were just released, someone has already uploaded them to Running Hub. That means I didn't need to download any models myself. Also, the sampling steps can be as low as 4. Now there's still a problem. QWIN image edit 2511 still can't fully fix image drifting. Look at this result after relighting. Let's compare it with the original image. Do you see that? The car size and the position changed. Some details changed too. For example, the text on the license plates is different, and even the Audi logo got altered. But don't worry, there's a way around it. Take a look at the final output from the workflow I built, and then compare it with the original. The car does not move at all and the detail stays the same. Now let's look at more examples. One really nice thing is that you can upload a very large image. In this workflow, the input image is 4212 by 2367. Let me walk you through how the workflow works. In the first group, there are two main steps. Step 1 is downscaling the image to 1024 by 1024. The longer side becomes 1024. The shorter side becomes smaller than 1024 because the image is not a square. So we use a node to fill the empty space with a gray color. At this point, if we ask the QWIN edit model to relight the image, we won't get a shifting problem, but we get a different issue. Those gray areas don't contain real content. So there's nothing meaningful for the model to relight in those parts. So step 2 is fitting those gray areas with real pixels. For this, I use the GGF version of the FlexFill 1 Reward model. This one is the Q8 version, but you can use a smaller version to save VRAM. We do not need high quality in this step. This image is only used as the input for relighting with QN Edit. From here, the workflow is basically the same as what we used with the 2509 version. The main change is that we switch to the new models, and if you are low on VRAM, you can use the GGUF versions as well. For the prompt, you must include the word relight. After that, you can describe the lighting effect you want. The output from this first group is 1024 by 1024 but our original upload is much larger, so the next group is used to produce a larger version. Here, we run a second pass with a QN edit model. In my case, the image becomes about 4208 by 4208, but the actual sky at the top and the actual ground at the bottom are not important. We only created those areas earlier so QN edit could relight the scene without shifting the subject. So now I use the image crop by mass node to cut out the actual parts. The size becomes much closer to the original. Now let's zoom in and check the details. Wow, they look really bad. The image is covered with grid light pixel noise. So in the final group, I use the frequency detail restore node to bring back details from the original image. You can adjust the settings to control how much of the new relighting stays, and how much original details comes back. If you have ever done skin retouching in Photoshop using frequency separation, this idea will feel familiar. If you have not, there are plenty of YouTube videos that explain it clearly, so it's worth a quick look. If you want to download this exact workflow, join our community. Your support helps me keep making more high-quality workflows like this. Thanks so much for watching and have a great holiday.